Greatest Sounds in Motorsports returns for a brand new decade. It's 2020. Let's go racing. The North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by EPCUSA.com consists of 14 races over seven weekends. Sanctioned by SCCA Pro Racing and racing with the Formula Race Promotions, SVRA, F4, F3, and others, things just keep getting better and better for F1000 Pro Racing. An ever-growing list of drivers and teams make the upcoming season sure to be one to watch. First up for 2020 was to be the traditional opening weekend at Road Atlanta, but with the world on hold, I think Alex Mayer says it best. Aww. Now moving forward, the 2020 season kicks off at a new track for F1000, Barber Motorsports Park. Off-camber turns, lots of elevation, the track designed for superbikes will be sure to put on an amazing show when the superbike-powered F1000 cars hit the track on May 15th. Now, perennial podium finisher and Area 81 racing driver Tim Pierce has been testing hard in the preseason, and it sounds great. Meanwhile, 2019 Rookie of the Year and Nico Vardis took advantage of the new MIR Raceline partnership with F1000 and will be looking sharp in his new custom driving suit, similar to the one Mayer received from MPT Industries for his 2018 championship. And yes, that sound is still Tim Pierce's number 81 screaming into turn one. Following Barber, it's a return to the Formula Car favorite Pittsburgh International Race Complex on June 19th to the 21st. Last season, Alex Mayer and Nico Vardis went wheel to wheel almost every session, trading track records back and forth. With Jeremy Hill spending the winter upgrading the double zero photon, it's sure to be great racing in Pittsburgh. Now, as summer rolls on, it's the famed Mid Ohio Sports Car Course for July 4th weekend. The Central Ohio Stalwart has proved challenging for many over the years, giving fans some great racing and giving many drivers their first podium, including George Hamilton and Rick Constant. Plus, we eat pretty well, too. And just a few weeks later, the series rolls into what Car and Driver magazine dubbed the American Nürburgring, Virginia International Raceway. Three-time champion Alex Mayer rolls into VIR undefeated in pro competition over three seasons. Yet with new teams, new drivers, updated cars, and more, the competition is hungry, and only time will tell who climbs the top step on July 18th and 19th. Now the midway point of the 2020 championship is sure to be fun as the series will race on a track designed for Formula Cars, Summit Point Motorsports Park, putting on a great show with amazing viewing positions for spectators and filming. It's a weekend you don't want to miss. Now it's not deja vu, it's another round of racing from Formula Car favorite Pit Race. 2020 is sure to have some excitement as we return for what is sure to be a chilly, perfect for track records, early October event near Pittsburgh. Now this was to be the conclusion of the 2020 season. However, rumors abound of a rescheduled road Atlanta, and we all wait together to see when and where the 2020 champions will be crowned. Regardless of when the season ends, you can catch it all here at Northam F1000 and NorthamF1000.com. Now let's see who's going to contend for the 2020 North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by EPCUSA.com. First up, we've got the three-time defending champion and the number 77 Technotech's JDR, Alex Mayer. Alex has some offers to move up this season and may be forced to miss a few races depending on schedules. However, he said he wants to find a way to defend his title. Next up, it's a newcomer to the series, number five, Jake Latham. Jake's been a front runner out west and has moved his firm into a ride drive motorsport for 2020 to enter F1000 Championship Pro Racing. Here we have the funniest man in the paddock, Glenn Cooper in the number nine, always in contention for a podium and a win. Cooper brings years of experience in motorcycle racing and car racing. Here we have returning after a two year hiatus, Thomas Copeland is gonna pilot the number 11 Furman out of the Crow Motorsports shop. Next up, it's number 12, the 2018 Rookie of the Year, Riley Harris in the Mantic. This team is continually developing and upgrading the car. Look for Harris and the team continue working forward as they enter their third season of F1000 Championship Pro Racing. Now, Doug Hertz had a difficult 2019, uh, enough to have the Doug Hertz Differential Award created. It's a bottle of whiskey to the driver who has the worst luck. Uh, however, a move from a one-man show into a professional racing shop of Momentum Motorsport for 2020 should keep all the F1000 drivers on their toes as Doug looks to return to the podium in F1000 racing. Now, making less than half the races in 2019 due to traveling Europe to see F1 events, Jose Gerardo and Apex Racing had two cars to choose from, either the number 14 Galmer or the number 14 JDR. Only time will tell where, when, and what car Gerardo is racing in 2020. Here we have a regular in the series in 2017 and consistent Sunoco Hard Charger winner, Jason Slayer. He took a break from F1000 competition to focus on getting the next generation into karting, but still has the itch and is coming back. 
Rumor has it citation expert Brandon Dixon has been doing some testing and setup for Jason in preparation for the upcoming season. Better look out for that black number 19. Another familiar name from 2017-2018 returning full-time in 2020, the blue number 33 JDR of Charles Livingston after a hiatus from work is ready to race full-time in the new decade. Now regular podium finisher Shane Prieto had a rough 2019 for number 43, engulfed in flames at VIR. Yet brother Sean worked tirelessly all winter to make the firm an even better, and Shane was picking on Atlantix at SCCA club events back in January, definitely eager to get that first pro win in 2020. Next up, it's one of the rookies entering in 2020. The number 66, Mike Holland, joins the series following his 2019 SCCA FB titles in the Northern Division and the Mid-Am Championship. Bringing home two wins in the inaugural season of 2017, Tim Pierce has seen some changes in his team the past few years. Teammate Richard Franklin retiring from racing, switching from the firm into the JDR chassis, and upgrading to a new engine package. The new program has seen improvements over the year, and the team are really fast in preseason testing. Tim says they have all the new pieces dialed in and are ready to get back to the top step of the podium in F1000 Championship Racing. Now the other citation in the field comes from the number 88 of Michael Crow and Crow Motorsports. Podium finisher at his first ever Northam F1000 Pro Race at Road Atlanta last spring, Crow is poised to be a regular challenger at the pointy end of the grid. Here we have one half of Hamilton Motorsports. Steve Hamilton and the number 93 JDR went on a points run last year taking the lead following Mid-Ohio for a while, and eventually taking third place in the 2019 championship, earning third with a tiebreaker away from Tim Pierce. Now the number 94, Joel Haas, the lone Piper entry in the championship from LD Racing. Joel's been a regular in Formula Car Racing for years, including Formula Ford and many others. Here we have full-time in the Navy, George Hamilton. He may not make a majority of events in the number 98, and a new cart purchase may keep him away even more. However, due to a full-time effort by Father Steve, the car will always be ready to race at each event, so who knows when George will take the green in Formula 1000. Here we have a legend of F1000 racing. Jeremy Hill's been there from day one, literally. Taking Hill multiple race wins in the double zero last season, Jeremy still felt he needed more and has been working all winter to improve the custom-built photon and says he is ready to go wheel to wheel with the front every weekend. Last but not least, we have the 2019 Rookie of the Year and Series runner-up, Nico Vardis, came on the scene with a bang in the number 08 JDR. Taking home four wins in 2019, Vardis Motorsports is poised to contend for the title in 2020. Now, there are a few guys who are in limbo at the moment. Rick Costin sold his farm room but says he still may rent a car occasionally. Chris Pennington is just getting back into motorsports and rented a car for one event in 2019 with plans to rent for more in the near future. Now, these guys are anyone interested. You really don't have to look that far. The number 38 Citation is ready to roll for any interested drivers from Crow Motorsports, as well as the number 39 and 99 JDRs from Arrive Drive Motorsports. It's going to be a great year. And a big thank you to all the series partners, sponsors, and supporters. Did I mention there's over $40,000 in cash up for grabs this season? Early registration paybacks, appearance money, qualifying prizes, race purses, random drawing awards, the list goes on and on. Show up, get money. Sounds pretty good, right? For the North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by EPCUSA.com, I'm Dustin Hodges with Right Turn Promotions. We'll see you live from Barber Motorsports Park, May 15th.